we are going to talk about ingress traffic in AKS and to understand that we have ingress controller which is a native resource of Kubernetes so we'll talk about it a little bit and we'll perform the demonstration later so in order to understand this ingress we need to understand first like there are different kind of services which actually work uh, like for example type load balancer type node pool type cluster service similarly we have this ingress to serve a specific purpose right so in order to understand this let's try to understand the load balancer type service first so uh, let's see let's suppose this is your Let's only create the worker node rather than creating everything and save time, right? So this is a worker node and these are four pods. And you have this service type load balancer, which is load balancing uh, the traffic to these pods. So if we talk about load balancer, it is configured to distribute traffic to the pods in your service on a given port, right? So it distributes traffic on ports on a given port. Port. These ports make me call port again and again, but it's port, right? And it works on layer four. We all know that, right? Now, this this load balancer works on layer four, hence it's not aware of the actual applications in the traffic. It's the transport layer, not the HTTP one, right? So with the help of load balancer we cannot make any routing considerations right and it will not provide you any other functionalities like ssl termination if we talk about the respect to the azure we have application gateway and the azure load balancer right so these even in AKS, you know, it's a managed service and when we create a service type load balancer, it actually spins up a load balancer, which is Azure load balancer. So it would have the same functionality, right? Uh, and in Azure, we do have application gateway, which has the capability of you know uh, which works on layer 7 so of course it's aware of the application and we can do url based routing and we can do ssl termination we can opt for waf those kind of things it is more like this ingress ingress serves the same purpose okay so let's see what all in ingress can do for us apart from these things that i talked about works on layer 7 it is more intelligent, of course, so it can uh, divert the traffic on the base of URLs. For example, if you have uh, abc.com slash uh, video and abc.com slash image, and both are serving on a different part, so it can divert the traffic as per the URL, just like App Gateway. We have already covered the App Gateway in previous videos. That's what the ingress is, okay? Now, there are various ingress controllers that can serve the purpose of ingress in AKS, of course, like Nginx, AKS HTTP app routing, application gateway, ingress controller, traffic, etc. AKS is, is the managed Kubernetes provided by Azure, creates the DNS zone, uh, public DNS records to serve this purpose as well. And we can see that when we will perform this AKS HTTP application routing demonstration in our maybe next video. So what, what, what actually happens when AKS HTTP application routing uh, when we enable this HTTP application routing, it actually creates an ingress controller and an external DNS control. These two things when we enable it. So uh, 
if we talk about ingress controller it exposed to internet because it takes care of the traffic coming from the internet not inside okay so it implements routes to the application endpoints with the help of uh, DNS controller of course no DNS records so it creates DNS a records in the cluster specific DNS zone as per the ingress resources so if I have to conclude what exactly ingress is ingress exposes HTTP and HTTPS routes from outside the cluster to services always remember outside the cluster to the services within the cluster okay and traffic routing is controlled by rules defined on the ingress resources that is one of the reason like when we create this ingress thing it will also create a config map I'll show you when we will we'll work on it when we will we will perform the demonstration so an ingress may be configured to give services externally reachable URLs load balance traffic terminate SSL TLS and offer name based virtual hosting in order in order for the ingress resource to work the cluster must have an ingress controller running okay so unlike other types of controllers which run as a part of cube control manager you know there is a namespace cube system and under cube system we have all the controllers running which uh, creates when we install the uh, kubernetes but this controller is different that's why I'm saying like unlike other types of controllers which run as part of the cube controller manager binary ingress controllers are not started automatically with a cluster and ingress does not expose arbitrary ports or protocols okay as I said outside not the inside so exposing services other than HTTP and HTTPS to the internet typically uses a service of type uh, node port or load balancer okay so this is a little bit about the ingress uh, an overview of an ingress because this is not exactly uh, the Kubernetes Kubernetes but we are trying to understand the uh, Kubernetes as per the AKS perspective so I hope this is this is good enough to understand this and uh, once we will perform the demonstration it will of course clear your doubts and we'll come with the Kubernetes series as well so that we can explain the Kubernetes networking in detail the, the storage in detail uh, rather only talking about the services right so well thank you for watching and you have a good day bye bye